All right, baby squirrel, what the heck are we doing today? We are buying another car. <laughs> another one? Another one. So if you guys saw the last video, you would have seen that I'm selling my 56 Chevy that we picked up uh, from Northern California. After, if you guys watched the video, you would have seen, I went through the whole emotional process and I'm just not digging the car as much as I did when I bought it. And I know exactly what kind of car I'm looking for and was cruising on Marketplace one day and saw this thing pop up. I was eyeing it for a while. It was kind of looking at me, looking at it, looking at me, you know, back and forth. And if it's what the guy says it is, I think this is going to be a much better car for me. So you guys also know I was super, super picky. Not only did I want a 56 Chevy, it had to be a Bel Air trim and it had to be a post car. So I wasn't willing to settle for a hard top. Um, so I don't even know where the heck we are right now. We're about an hour south of the shop and we're, the car is on the street somewhere down on the end. So we don't know if, if he's gonna let us work on it in this driveway so we could drive it home, um, or we might have to work on the street somewhere, but we're gonna attempt to drive it home. We're gonna attempt. So he did tell us that uh, fuel pump is no good and that it basically doesn't have brakes. So we brought some stuff with us and we'll see if we can fix it. But those are some serious problems. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, we got to make sure it's a solid car to begin with. That's true. And, and I'm really anxious to see it. And we got to, you know, lowball them and see if we can get a good deal on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what you, you mean. You always got to come in with that low ball. You know what I mean? All right. And well, buy them low, sell them high. Let's maybe. go. Let's go look at it. <laughs> Oh my gosh! There's a 56 Chevy right there, baby! Whoa! Oh my oh gosh! Oh my gosh! It's who's a Bel Air! Who's Bel Air is it? It's a two door! It's a post car! Holy heck! <laughs> Damn, that's a nice ride right there! Whose car is that? Shoot. Dang, it's a 56 Chevy post car Bel Air! Isn't that exactly what you're looking for? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that thing's being flat towed though, so yeah, clearly I mean, the people who bought it don't even know how to work on it. Yeah, they probably couldn't even fix the fuel pump or whatever is wrong with that thing. Yeah. Losers. So obviously, I bought the car, and here it is at the shop. Say hello to my new project car. This is another 1956 Chevy Bel Air with a post and um, we so badly wanted to fix this thing up for you guys and drive it back to the shop. It was only about like 50 miles away, but we really wanted to uh, do that. But unfortunately, you know, um, understandably, the guy didn't want us working in his driveway, which that's all fine, no problem there. And the street he lived on, it was bumper to bumper with parking. So there was nowhere for us to even roll it and, and work on it. So we had to get this thing towed, but we will be working on it really soon and getting it fired up. So I'm sure you're wondering how the heck did you even find this thing and how did you get another car so fast? Well, actually this thing was on Marketplace for a little over two months. And I remember the exact day that I showed Danny this thing. Do you remember that? Yeah, I mean, it, I was like, well, this is the same car as yours, but it's just white and a lot nicer. Yeah. And I was like, I liked it. <laughs> Danny really liked it. And so I'm not saying he pressured me, but he definitely supported the decision. And when I showed him this, he was like, that might be a better car for the money. And honestly, this thing was only a couple thousand more than my other 56. And wait till you see how nice it actually is. So we're going to give you guys kind of a walk around on the car, but I'm just thrilled and I can't believe I found one like another Bel Air with a post. I even ran the VIN and confirmed it's a Bel Air. Although the factory colors on it were a little wild. I'll try and post a picture of what it looked like from the factory. I don't remember the color names, but it wasn't the prettiest, but uh, here it is. Okay. So, well, let's do a little walk around the outside. Yeah. And then we'll uh, open up the doors and show you the interior. And then also the engine. But this so, thing is solid. Yeah, very solid car. Oh. It's all metal. Yep. 
wow, that's like a brand new bumper. I know, remember mine? And look at those and tailpipes. This is probably the nicest car that we have in the shop. The fanciest car that we have in the <laughs> shop. The most modern car we have in the shop. Look at this. It's got a reverse camera. <laughs> oh yeah, wait till you <laughs> see that. <laughs> we'll show you that in a second, but uh, I know there's gonna be a lot of people commenting like, hey, didn't you have one just like this? Isn't this just like Grease Lightning, the oh, one yeah. you sold? And to answer that, you know, the thing for me is that that was really Danny's car. And like I said in my last video, I really, really wanted a 56 of my own and Grease, also wasn't a Bel Air. It was a 150. Yeah, it was a 150. And honestly, that car was too nice for me where um, I just, it felt wrong to take that one apart. And honestly, I couldn't even afford that one. <laughs> for what Danny <laughs> wanted, I couldn't even afford it. So that one I'm was sure off the table. Out some sort of payment system. <laughs> but. Maybe, but yeah, this one's all mine. So I'm, I'm stoked. I, you guys know like, I this is picky. what this is exactly what Olivia has been wanting for a really long time, and you know, although we have a little bit different in taste and what kind of cars we like, um, you know, I, I got to be supportive because, you know, like like I got a girl that's into cars. Like, how cool is that? So whatever she wants, I'm like, let's do it. <laughs> so we're we're kind of like bad for each other at that point because it's like there's nobody saying no. I know it's it's all gas, no brakes around here. It's <laughs> like somebody wants a project, let's go, let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no reasoning. Oh, uh, baby, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So and, and, and <laughs> this is gonna be so much like less work on my part too for when it comes down to like the grinding and like the getting the stuff all the metal work all done because now we don't actually have to replace all that metal work because this car has actually some metal work that's already been done to it yeah we'll show you guys that in a second and i'm also sure danny's like really happy that i don't have to be rolling up to the car show running on seven cylinders and <laughs> looking all that, rat that nasty in thing. town yeah guys i mean like Olivia likes, um, how would you describe it? Like rough like, looking cars. I like or ratty like, cars. She likes ratty cars. And you know, I, I, you know, I like them a little bit, but not too ratty. She likes them a little bit more crusty than I do. And that other car, I was like, wow, my girlfriend's gonna be like driving that thing around on the street. <laughs> looking like a piece of junk and like, like hey i still like that thing i, I don't know i just kind of i want something nice for her you know but she she likes that so i just i gotta kind of go with it this this is like a in the middle car yeah. for us this thing it, it definitely looks nice but then as you get closer it's not it's by no means perfect which is really good for me because i have a lot of ideas for it and we'll get to that in another video like what my actual plans are but for now, let's just like start. Get up close. Yeah, should we pop the hood for them? Yeah, I guess we'll just right off the bat just show them the power plant. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's like, what the heck? What it's did under you get? that hood. Oh, the Shoot, we haven't even looked at this I know. engine that much. I know. We all we know is it doesn't run and doesn't have brakes. So let's see. Okay, We've got an <laughs> aluminum radiator. That's modern. Oh my, LS. Another one. Ooh. Here's the thing. No, it's okay. I was not actually looking for an LS swap car, just like the last one. I was not, that was not the selling point for me. In fact, I don't know if this is gonna stay in here forever, but for now, it's good enough. Um, it doesn't run, and we're gonna have to figure out why. Um, the guy suggested though that the fuel pump went out, and then he also told us that um, the master cylinder was leaking, which I can see. Yeah, you could see it was leaking on the back over there. We wiped it, but it was there was oil back there, so pretty sure the seal just went out on the master cylinder. But he, he said that he used to drive this car a lot. And I believe him. I mean, if it has a backup camera, like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this isn't something that I don't think he just cobbled together just to flip it because why would you put a reverse camera on there? And there's a bunch of other stuff on the interior you'll see in a bit. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, it's got an LS, yep. it's got a, it's a 5.3 with a 4L60E behind it. So it's funny, it's exactly like Grease. Yeah, yeah. And actually this is a like much nicer swap than your other car. Like it's just a lot cleaner in the engine bay, you know? Yeah. Hasn't been like hacked up too much. Looks like this 
might be arcing though. I, I would right down here. It, yeah, if you look tight. down at the bottom, right there, oh, you see how it's all white is. right here. So this oh, spark this plug is. might be arcing on that header. Yeah, that one is white for sure. And then that one has doesn't even have the boot on it. The the wrap. On the back. See that okay. one's white there too. Yeah. So wow, we're really looking at this for the first time. People are gonna be like, you didn't notice that? <laughs> we don't even care. We're gonna fix it. So. Well, we looked at a lot, like some of the more important stuff, like make sure that the motor mounts were, you know, not just like a junkyard looking motor mounts. They're actual real swap mounts yeah. for this frame. So that, that's nice. And I mean, you can drive this car around. If, yeah. we, if we get it running, you can drive this car around. It has nice disc brakes in the front. I don't know about the rear, though. Uh, he, I don't think he said the rear. I think the rear is still drum. Okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah, and so, I mean, for me, the, the biggest thing, and just like my other 56, I really wanted um, something that was, like, I guess you could say kind of done so that way i could still enjoy it for the time being because you know we have a bigger project going on in the shop and i what i really wanted was kind of like a summer cruiser just to go to like the beach or go to the cruise night and while we did take that other 56 um to the cruise night it was it's just too sketchy to be driving around and the amount of work it would need to be streetable would it was be a, just a, a lot. lot. It would be a lot. We would just be, it would be a snowball project. Yeah, and then once you get started on that, then I'm doing like a straight axle and it, it, it was just gonna. It would be a whole nother charger build, basically. Basically. But um, yeah, so let's, I guess, get back to the car a little bit here. This is probably the worst part of the car, I would say, of the paint um, is this hood. You can see it's cracking here in a lot of spots, but all in all, it's like pretty straight. Um, front fender looks pretty good. There's no rust down on the bottom anywhere there. Um, quarter panels look pretty straight as well. It's got all the glass, yeah, all the trim. And it all works. Yeah, all the windows go up and down, the Smoothly. fronts and the back. Yeah. Because the other car had broken glass all the way around. Every window was broken. Yeah, it was like tinted so that way the glass wouldn't like fall apart. And um, yeah, even the front windshield was shot at, so check this out so this area right here is probably the worst of it we noticed this obviously when we went to go buy it but yeah check the door jam and it doesn't appear that any metal has been replaced at all like this all looks pretty factory here and as well as on the bottom underneath there is no um sign of like a panel being replaced so i think what happened is it just got a dent here at one point and then they probably bonded over it and then painted it and over time it's obviously just starting to crack so hopefully that's the case there, but that's like the worst part. Yeah. Um, coming around to the back, obviously it's got a brand new rear bumper. The tail lights are all there and they work. This opens. Yeah. I got my stock location gas fill already there. The other car uh, didn't even have like a trunk pan basically. <laughs> so I couldn't do that. And then this is, I would say, the better side of the car. It's a passenger side. And it's not too shabby. It's got yeah. like, this is the most like shine I've ever had on a car. <laughs> like, Yeah, this is definitely the nicer panel. They had to repaint this part here because they did a new trunk pan. And also once they do the trunk pan, they had to do this extension pan here. So they actually had to color match it and they just decided to paint this one quarter panel here to color match so that's why this is shinier than the rest and then what else can i show you i mean, I mean this side looks pretty good too we got some you know some paint coming up here that's all uh, right i'll you got take it nice new mirrors mm -hmm. all the glass is good the roof's okay there's like some spots on it for sure mm -hmm. so no rust around the windows really there's like a little bit of surface rust here not too bad Pretty solid car, and there's no rust here. Yeah. Or over there. Pretty so, good. That's kind of like the exterior, but like I said, the interior is something else. Look at there's this. A little ding there, but not bad. Okay, well, here's your interior. Look at this. Tuxedo. <laughs> I'll be honest, this is not my choice, 
by any means and I might change this out because I've I'm a big uh, bench seat kind of person and I honestly might put a bench back in this Danny hates that because I'm super short so I'm always like having to move the seat like way up to reach the pedals and then a bench would just force him forward so he has no leg room but fine um, I guess we'll just drive separate <laughs> <laughs> or you can ride in the back yeah of the yeah. chauffeur you yeah you look pretty good in there yeah. let me see let's see roll that window down let's see if it fits you you gotta you know let's see how the doors close nice door gaps are good There you are. Look at this big steering wheel with the Bel Air on it. Does the horn work? Uh, I don't think so. Well, he has it here. Oh, the horn is there? There's a button there. Maybe but the ignition's got to be on. You know what? I left the key in the shop. Oh, okay. That's all right. Hey, you look good in there. Thank you. I'm stoked. Yeah, it's a good car. What's funny is it also has like the shorter version of uh, Grease's shifter, the low car one. Yeah, that's a little shorty thing, huh? So there's like a lot of similarities, but... Um, I mean, that's a good shifter. I, I liked it in the other car. <laughs> Better than yeah. the T-handle one in the other. <laughs> yeah, look at this dash. It's really clean, huh? Yeah. Nicely painted. We got some sort of electronic device here. Not too sure what that's for, but here's the rear view mirror that has a backup camera built into it <laughs> yeah it's like it's hard to see but it's right there so <laughs> Are you gonna keep that uh hell no <laughs> <laughs> i cannot imagine like needing a reverse camera i don't know you hit something coming out of the shop one time no but also this thing why i used to like daily in greece is because the tri fives are so small and cute especially compared to my literal land yacht of a pontiac <laughs> so i like these they're they're small awesome let me come around that side yeah come in oh, oh. <laughs> i thought it was open shoot Ooh. look at this I and so like it. The back seat, though, is kind of like burnt at the top. From the sun. Which, so be it. You know, if I end up reupholstering this thing in the future, which I probably will, it's not going to be like that. wonder what these bucket seats were out of. I don't know if Did anybody tri knows. tri-fives come with bucket seats? I don't know. And I also feel like these are out of something else. Okay, we got some gauges here on the bottom. You got a 12 volt, you got USB. Wow, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Is this open? Yeah, yeah. oh look. Yay! It's actually not all blown out. Wow, I actually have a glove box. I don't <laughs> have one on my other car. Oh, and then I like, maybe I could get, I don't know if I'm gonna do vintage air again, but maybe we could get it working on this. Mm -hmm. That's kind of neat. And then I miss this, having like the light set up yep. here. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, you got your Bel Air. I know, and then I was really stoked with that with the little clock there. Yeah. Wonder if it works. And then right here is your OBD port. I don't know about these floor mats though. Yeah, these. He's got to go and also this carpet is not my favorite i really prefer the looped stuff and this is just not it so this will go at some point but you know what i don't Headliner's understand is what are what are these these are for when you're in the back seat and you you know it's like hard to get out of the back seat of a tri uh -huh. I'm pretty sure i don't know if that's original this looks original can somebody let us know if this is like a factory option or something? Yeah, but that, I doubt it. That looks original. I mean, yeah, look at the coat hanger things. Unless mm -hmm. it's just from a different car, but. Well, the headliner's pretty nice. It is. Oh, it's got a couple little rips right here. That's okay, better than. It's been repaired though. Better than nothing. Wow, I like it, Aww. I like it. This is original automatic car, I'm guessing. Um, I think so. Thought you ran the oh look at 
Well, they and were three on the tree, right? A lot of them? Or all of them? Yeah, and then, you know what? The body tag, though, I need to kind of scuff it because it got, like, oversprayed on it, and then some of the numbers are hard to read, so I haven't ran everything yet. Like, okay. all the options. All right. So. Oh, let me... Door panels aren't so bad. Yeah. Door closes nice. Let me um, grab the key one second, and then I'll pop the trunk. Okay. I don't know, guys. What do you think? It's a good car. I like it a lot better than her other one, honestly. The other one was a piece of junk, honestly. It was like, <laughs> it needed a lot of work, and you know who's going to have to do that. I mean, Olivia does a lot with the cars, but she's just not that strong, and she can't, like, weld and, like, fabricate and bend panels and stuff, so I was going to be the one that has to do all the work. So I'm kind of glad that she got this thing. Here is the key. I think this is it. Still learning all the keys. Got it. Okay. All right. Here's the trunk. Okay. And we already saw pictures of the trunk floor. It was has been replaced. It's all brand new metal underneath. Yeah. So that's really nice, and it's already been um, sound deadened too but yeah i mean this is light years better than the other car yeah so it's uh you know like i said in the other video danny and i are i guess you could say we're completely overdoing metal work and uh being from california we are so blessed to have so many desert cars available to us and like rust free cars and uh, yeah, I guess you could say like th this is a this is a way better project for us, and for what we have time for and what we want to do, this is it. Yeah. So, I mean, we're not like completely done with doing metal work. Like in the future, we'll still do some stuff. But that charger, like we've been working like crazy on the metal work on it, and we just need a break. We can't have another car that needs a bunch of metal work. It's 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 hard. It's tough. It's tough. But yeah, so. Okay, oh, here's the original color. Look. Yeah, so if you look at the, do the door jam after this, so th it's a two-tone car from the factory, and I forget the paint code names, but it was like this yellow, and then in the door jam, you'll see this like light green. It was like the worst color combo. Sorry if you own a car. Yellow and green. Like two-tone like this, I'm sorry. It's just like not my taste, but. So, so it was this was yellow? Yes, so all of like the back and then all of this would have been yellow and then all of the stuff here would have been just here forward would have been green. Oh. Like this. Yeah. Like that. Oh. With that yellow that you just That's saw. That's weird. I know, it's like the weirdest two tone. Well, what's your plan for this car? Well, I'll say this, it's going to be a complete transformation. Like it'll look very different when we're done with it. But what's making me so excited and motivated is that, you know, it's a solid car. Like now we get to just do the fun stuff. So, you know, right now the car is sitting way lower than I want it to. And partially because of uh, the wheels he threw on it. So initially he had like 17 inch Boyd Coddington's that he kept and he just put these on. And we noticed that when we picked it up, the car is sitting so low that like the pan is it's questionable. <laughs> yeah, it's so close to the ground. We couldn't even have drove it home like this anyways. But, um. So basically, I want to swap out those wheels pretty quickly. I want to fix the ride height on it. And then, you know, ultimately, we got to get this thing running because, uh, I don't know, I really want to cruise it this summer. Well, it's 14s, huh? Yeah, right? Yeah, with some knockoff wheels. Is that what you call these things? I don't know. The spinners? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, whatever. I wasn't going to run them anyway. So we have a few different we wheels we can put options, on this. We got some options, so it'll be cool. So, okay. So big transformation, your, your big claims. Big claims. And uh, yeah, like I said, it'll be, it'll be great because we get to just do the fun stuff here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be super sweet. So 
Uh, maybe Should we I'll, try to start it? Yeah, I was going to say, let's see what happens. Because when we started it over at his house, it was turning over and it actually sounded like it might have wanted to fire on a couple cylinders. Let's see what it does now. Let's see. It's under new ownership, so let's see if never it, know. If it wants to act, right. Ready? Hit it. Uh, is uh, that the starter solenoid? Go ahead. Yeah, I think that's a starter solenoid engaging, but it's not enough battery to actually turn the starter. Darn. <laughs> it was turning over when it had you, battery. <laughs> should we um, put the battery charger on it and see, or what do you want to do? Yeah, we can. Okay, we have our Harbor Freight battery charger on the battery for a couple minutes now. So we'll see if it can actually crank over. Okay. Ready? Go ahead. Let's see. Go ahead. Eww. It wants? Well, the engine sounds, it doesn't, I don't hear any knocking or anything. That's good. No, it cut, it sounds like it wants to go. We'll see, it might be like, it might not have fuel, like the fuel. See, I don't hear the fuel pump back here. I don't know, I, I don't hear a fuel pump running in the back. Mm -mm. So we'll have to see, we'll put a gauge on there and see if we got fuel pressure up on the rails. Yeah. And then we'll take it from there. All right. So, oh, can you turn your headlights on? Yeah. See if your headlights work. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's see if the back ones are on. Yep. Hey, oh. you know what? You got new lenses back here too. These are brand new. Dang. Yeah, all of the lenses. Oh, these are even LED. What? Okay, turn your blinker on. Nice. Really? Yeah, it works. How about the other one? Okay, go. Yep, it's working. Let me check the front. No way. Okay. Yep. Other side, <laughs> it's working. No way. Yep. Um, how about that reverse camera though? That's what I'm really interested in. Okay, let me. How do we do it? Um. Is the ignition on? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, didn't you say you had to plug it in or something like that? Didn't you? Oh, do you? You gotta like do something here. Well, look at this. The gauge just turned on. That's weird. That is definitely going to go. You don't want to keep that? It's going to tell you all your information Hell right there. Oh no. That's what this is for. <laughs> okay. I'll get that thing working before I run that. And there's no stereo. But the, at okay. least it didn't get cut out and put like a modern stereo in there. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well... Dang, we'll have to figure out that reverse camera because that would be funny, but. Yeah, we'll get it working. Oh, look, it has a front camera as well. Look on the front side here. Oh, There's yeah. an actual camera right there too. Look, <laughs> you might want to keep that, you know, insurance purposes. Maybe. <laughs> well, there you guys go. This is my 1956 Chevy Bel Air with a post. And uh, I'm just so grateful that I was able to buy one of my dream cars i mean you guys know the journey i went through with that other 56 and i can honestly say i am so beyond happy with this car i'm i'm stoked and it just hasn't even set in really because it all happened so fast between like last week you know deciding i was gonna get rid of that and then ultimately you know danny being like just go for it this is a this is a better car so I'm so grateful and uh, yeah, thank you guys for being so supportive in the last video. I read all the comments. Sounds like a lot of people kind of went through the same thing of like, you know, wearing rose colored glasses, buying a car and then realizing, you know, it wasn't for them. So I think this one right here, this is the one for me. But um, we have had our hands so full over the last week. You know, obviously we went and picked this thing up, but we have been working nonstop on the charger. So let's uh, bring you guys in the shop and show you the progress that's been made. All right, so for the last three nights in a row, after a full day of working refrigeration, this man has been insane. He has been tackling this car till like two in the morning every single night. It's been 
it's been painful to watch, honestly. Uh, yeah. So come on in, I'll show you what we did. So we got everything fully welded in here on the back side. And these corner pieces here, which are like the hardest to get aligned, are looking really good. You see how straight these lines are and the gaps are good. Same thing on the other side. So we got this all tacked into place here. I got to make a couple more spot welds here. Um, finish welding in these pieces. I, there's so much metal work that went into this. It's crazy. Look at these spot welds. Here, this is so time consuming, guys. This is a lot more work than we were expecting to do on this car, but I'm pretty happy with it. It looks so good. I mean, once we got those end caps on there, or rather mm -hmm. Danny did, I mean, this thing really started to make sense. <laughs> and the back panel too, like that was a million spot welds to remove. And then he since like plugged this all up. Yeah, there's a lot of plug welds up there. All these plug welds here, this is a lot. Like look at the gaps here, pretty good. So pretty happy with it. We got all the spot welds here, all the way around through the other side. But yeah, coming together. Um, also, we have a lot of lightweight parts that are coming in for the car. One of them actually showed up yesterday. So we're gonna install it right now because I can't wait any longer. So since we're already filming a video, let's put this lightweight drive shaft in. Check it out. So this so, is uh, my first time seeing one in person. Yeah, we got an aluminum drive shaft here from PST. Oh, we ordered it online, but this should handle up to 1200 horsepower. So this will be plenty of strong for what we're doing. And the cool thing is it's going to help us save some more weight. Um, like I said, we got a lot of other lightweight parts coming in for the car. So you'll see that in the next video. Um, well, let's get this thing in. Yeah, this thing is so incredibly light. Like, you know it's light when I can lift it. So. Yeah. All right, so I already oiled up that end. Okay. So we'll put this over here, and it's in neutral. So that's going into our Tick Performance T56. And we got the Mosier 60 back here. These are 1350 joints. Got the beefy ones. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't want to go in. Make sure this doesn't fall and hit my head, please. Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to grab some tools from the ground. Persuader. Oh. Let me see this side. Okay, we're in. Now we just got these U-bolts. Um, do you have, can you see? Yep. Here, I'll put this up. Man, look at that. Dang. It's my first aluminum drive shaft. That looks really nice under here with all these other parts. Yeah, here so goes. originally I wanted to put a carbon fiber drive shaft in here, but they recommended that I didn't for a drag and drive because if the exhaust is going next to it, it can actually come unglued. So they didn't recommend that I installed one of those on this car. Um, so they said the aluminum drive shaft will do the trick though. So, there it is. so we got these U-bolts, straps. We'll put these in. This car has some nice hardware, I'll say that. The best. <laughs> like it doesn't get any better. Let's see, will that go through? I might have to, let's see, can we snake it through or is it going to mess up the threads? Oh, no, just a so little bit. We'll have to back this out a little bit just to get this in. See that? Yep. See that? Yeah. See what it did? See what you did. Let's see. Whoa! Oh! See what it did? <laughs> Try that at home. It almost hit me in the head. I know. <laughs> I should keep my hand here for like extra assurance. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Sweet.
wonder how much lighter this is than the steel one. I don't know. It's got to be a good, what, eight pounds lighter? Yeah. How does that look on that side? Is it sticking out enough? Yeah. Does it look like the red amount? It's got about my thumb. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. What's the torque spec on these things? Uh, we'll look it up. <laughs> I always hear mixed things. Like, like some people say they actually don't need to be that tight. But I'm always afraid they're going to come off. Yeah, I know. It's pretty critical. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. We're also going to have to install a drive shaft hoop. So we'll have to figure out where that's going to go. I think, do they normally go in the front or the back? Or both? I don't know. Or split the difference in the center? I don't know. We'll have to look to see. I've never had a car that had a drive shaft yeah, hoop. Yeah, I mean, me either. I mean, my Camaro should have one, I guess, for how much power it's making, right? Well, if you're going to race it, yeah. Well, even for just the street, you know? That's true. If that thing snapped. 16th. Oh. And I already put fresh oil in the rear end today. So that's all good. All right, so pretty happy with the install on the aluminum drive shaft. That's uh, gonna help us save some weight. We're gonna need it for this big heavy car. Yeah. Um, it looks really good in here. It does, check this out. I'm trying to give you guys a under car view, but it's, it's all good stuff. We got QA1 up front, we got a big block Mopar, Tick Performance Trans, lightweight aluminum drive shaft, QA1 4 link and a Mosier Dana 60. So, oh my gosh, this charger has seriously the best of the best on it. I know, can't wait to drive it. I know. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's video. If you guys would like to support the channel, you can head over to gnarlyspeedshop.com and pick up some merch. We got tons of products on the website and any minute now, we're going to have a brand new shirt design hit the website for Project Rum Runner. So be sure to keep an eye out for that and support the build. But yeah, as always, we appreciate you guys watching and we will see you next time.